Georgia O'Keeffe is important in American history because she was one of our first artists who went forward with the idea of art as an abstraction and art as what we call uh, in a modern style. She was an early 20th century artist and she was a woman and we have very few other women uh, who were making such uh, vital choices as being modern artists as O'Keeffe did in her own lifetime. I was inspired to create this exhibition because I was lucky enough to find out and discover that she had closets filled with her clothes. When she died, those clothes were so startling in the ways in which they uh, manifested a style so similar to the style I think of her painting in that I began to come up with this research question. How could we describe a woman's whose aesthetic was not only in the studio, but also in the domestic sphere, how she dressed and how she created her homes. This exhibition, Georgia O'Keeffe Living Modern, really comes to us as the launch pad for our centennial year. We had an inquiry from the Brooklyn Museum about two years ago, two and a half years ago, and they asked if they might borrow our pastel by Georgia O'Keeffe, Pool in the Woods. And upon hearing that, I kind of thought, gee, this major O'Keeffe exhibition would be such a great compliment here at Rinalda House. Looking at the context of Rinalda as a museum, having this exhibition dedicated to Georgia O'Keeffe, her paintings, her style, her clothing, all seen within this institution in a domestic setting and in the formal galleries of our Babcock Wing. It's a great way to kick off our centennial year. So this is not only an exhibition for Winston-Salem, it's an exhibition for the state of North Carolina. It's an exhibition for the southeastern region of our country. And I think it solidly puts Renolda House Museum of American Art on the national map. To be able to attract an exhibition of this caliber and scope here to Winston-Salem, the city of arts and innovation, is just a fitting way to launch this fabulous year for our institution. Well, this exhibition also, in addition to presenting a number of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings, presents her as a fashion icon, or in a way represents her as a fashion icon. Photographers through the late 20th century made pilgrimages to New Mexico to photograph Georgia O'Keeffe in her adobe home among the, the bones and horns that she painted. And for most American celebrities, as we get older, the celebrity diminishes. But Georgia O'Keeffe got more and more and more famous. And she lived to the age of, age of 98. So there was time for her style that she kept to. She would always wear one of two uniforms. One is a black suit, and the other was the wrap dress. Very light, easy to, to, to wrap across herself um, and to tramp through the desert photographing and painting because she never stopped hiking. William Butler Yeats, the poet, said, you have time in your life to perfect your work or to perfect your life. George O'Keeffe had time to really create an original style of painting, but she also had time to really create a personal style that was recognized um, as very beautiful and that made her one of the most famous visually uh, people in American culture. I hope that people learn um, and have a deeper understanding of Georgia O'Keeffe as an iconic American artist, but they get these glimpses into her personal life and her personal way of being, and that they relate that to their own personal way of being, because we all have a style, and we're learning about O'Keeffe's style as we see this exhibition. It's that development of a personal style that I think makes her seem very modern. Georgia O'Keeffe was someone who did more than just um, paint flowers. I think seeing her as a, as a whole person and how she integrated her art with her life um, is a really interesting concept. And it's not one that you see very often. My favorite works are probably the, the early shell um, paintings. So we have uh, some pink shells and there's a painting of a beautiful mussel um, with another sh clam shell inside it. And it's the reflection, the surfaces are they're smooth and round, they just make you want to reach out and touch. You know, it's hard to pick a favorite, but I, I have a couple. One is Black Patio Door. It's a painting that's on loan to us from the Eamon Carter Museum of American Art. 
and I worked there for about eight years. So seeing that painting in art galleries is like a very personal, special homecoming with that museum. I think one of the other stellar standouts that really distinguishes this exhibition from other shows about O'Keeffe is the clothing. A chance to get inside, really, the closets of Georgia O'Keeffe and to see how she fashioned herself as a modern woman um, and to see clothing that probably has her own hand stitch work on it. I realized that um, O'Keeffe had a wonderful skill as a seamstress and I'm very proud to be able to say that we can attribute several blouses, uh, the beautiful silk tunics and dresses and uh, suits, we can attribute those to her hand and her skills as a seamstress. I think people who sew will recognize that immediately is very skillful work. You see a lot of O'Keeffe exhibitions, but you don't see a lot of O'Keeffe exhibitions that have the depth of this one. Georgia O'Keeffe Living Modern runs through November 19th at the Renolda House Museum of American Art. The museum is at 2250 Renolda Road in Winston-Salem, and the gallery is open Tuesday through Sunday. To purchase your time ticket, go to renoldahouse.org. It's also a great time to explore the Renolda House as it celebrates its centennial this year.